Are you a new actor ready to take acting classes but you don't know where to train? In this video, I'll share three ways to find reputable acting studios in your neck of the woods. Act your business. When I was an aspiring actor, starting my journey was daunting, almost paralyzing, because I didn't really know what the first steps were on how to build my career. I didn't even know where to take drama classes. And actually, <laughs> I didn't even think that I needed drama classes, and that's because I was arrogant or because I thought acting was easy. I trained as a dancer, and I always thought that being a dancer was much more harder than being an actor. Now, turns out that acting, in my opinion, is actually harder because when you're a dancer, or you're a musician, you know the moment that you hit the wrong note or you miss a beat or you miss a step, you know ex exactly when it's happening. But acting, acting is a elusive. Like it requires us to access our emotions to express how we feel in response to something that's happening in the moment. And it requires us to have or to exhibit authentic behavior because the audience and the camera can always tell when we're lying. I feel like the majority of us just aren't self-expressed enough to articulate how we feel. Like we're suppressed beings walking around saying everything is fine. Meanwhile, our emotions are not accessible or we did were detached from our emotions my first audition was <laughs> It was back in 2001 and I had this random lucky moment audition for Men in Black 2 which turned out to be the role that Rosario Dawson played. I picked up the script like a few hours before the audition. I barely read it. I didn't know anything about script analysis or how to prepare a script and probably the only thing that I had memorized at that time was my grandmother's phone number so I really knew nothing about memorizing lines. I had no idea what to expect so I sat opposite the casting director and I read the script, literally read the script, stammering and flubbing and the casting director at some point got tired of my novice attempt and like literally looked over the top of her glasses like, what the heck is this? And that was the moment when I decided that I needed to take acting classes. So here are the three best ways to look for acting schools in your area. Google search, type in best acting schools in your neighborhood the best acting schools in your city. It's likely that you'll see some sponsored ads for colleges or some sponsored ads for acting studios near you. And then if you scroll down some more, you'll probably see businesses and then you'll have more of a list, a comprehensive list, or maybe they'll say like, there'll be something, a listing for the 10 best acting schools in your area. So that's one way. The second way is backstage.com. Now I use backstage.com for auditions. I submit myself for independent films, for web series, for student films. You can go on backstage.com, look for the search bar, go to magazine, come on down here, type in acting schools. And while a lot of these articles are old, there's still great information in helping you find the names of acting schools around the world. Finally, the third are community colleges in your area. Community colleges are so underrated because a lot of them will have an acting program, like a basic foundational acting program. And what's great about it is that you can get 16 weeks of actor foundational training for like a couple of hundred dollars. Keep a working list of the possible acting studios, conservatories, and universities that interest you. And before you make a final decision, here are five things to consider before taking an acting class. One, do you want a BFA from a university, a certificate from a conservatory, or do you just want to take some one-off classes that allow you to try different studios? Two, what is your budget? How much can you afford to pay without financial burden? Three, what's your availability look like? Look for a class with the frequency, time of day, and the length of hours that works for you. Four, which acting techniques resonate with you? Look up Meisner, Strasberg, Stanislavski, Chekhov, Method, Spolin, and five, do you like a boot camp militant teacher or someone with a firm yet soft touch? Once you decide all of that, you're gonna start to look for classes that allow you to audit because you wanna see firsthand how the teacher treats the students. If the teacher is mean or abusive, that is not the class for you, especially when you're just starting out. You don't want a teacher who's gonna tear you down to build you back up. And whatever class you decide on, allow yourself the freedom to be vulnerable and void of societal restraints. A good acting teacher will allow you to be your authentic 
itself among strangers and over time, those strangers become your second family. As you outgrow your class, you will now have a community of actors to ask for referrals to better acting classes. Finally, don't stay too long. There is a such thing as acting class complacency. It feels good, it's family, it's social, it's community, but if you want to be a working actor, at some point you've got to get into the workplace. The classroom is where you learn your craft, Working on stage or television or film is where you master your craft. As you're compiling all of these things, it's very important to get yourself an actor journal to keep all of your information in. Get rid of the post-its and the pieces of loose pieces of paper. It's great to just have one journal that you can always go back to. This particular one, I go through two of them a year. I keep my calendar in here and I keep all of my notes and all of my uh, ideas around acting in there in terms of headshots and all that stuff. It's all right there. I always know where it is and I'll drop a link for this particular one in the description I really like it because it kind of feels like leather. That is all for today I hope you enjoyed this information hit the notification bell and by the way I have a podcast called acting lessons learned be sure to check it out where you find your podcast 